Kabuka is a suburb in the southwest of Wagga Wagga, New South Wales, Australia. Kabuka is home to the Department of Defense's Blamey Barracks, from where the Army Recruit Training Center conducts its operations. It is located on the Olympic Highway between Wagga Wagga and Uranquiti. You need to know how to act in these situations, and we therefore advise you to keep watching today's video on the way to survive Kapuka. Before we move on, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all our videos. Tip number one Prepare yourself feasibly for Kapuka. Probably the most important one always try your best at fitness in Kapuka. It gets fit as you possibly can. Do a lot of running, a lot of push-ups, and many sit-ups because you will be doing a lot of that stuff. The fitness training you will do at Kabuka is to exert yourself and continue to fight afterwards. You are not looking to enjoy yourself and you are not looking to give it your all so you can't move afterwards. You want to be able to move afterwards, which you get told at Kabuka, and that's what they will try and reflect in their training. You will be doing a lot of running pretty much everywhere you go, so prepare yourself feasibly. The more prepared you are for that situation, it is going to be so much easier. Tip number two, avoid distractions. You don't want to be distracted by things going on back home. So no matter what it is, bills, your relationship, anything that you will want to have bottled up before focusing and dedicating yourself as you need to get through. Another thing to know about before you go to Kapuka is that the army is a lifestyle, not a job. Everything you do in your life will have to revolve around the army if you join. Because you made that choice to join the army, so don't complain while you are there. You choose to go to Kapuka. Tip number three. Learn the rank structure. As you get there, you will see the ranking structure between no commission officers and commissioned officers. So you will learn that when you walk past them, always make sure to pay your respects by saluting and like that. So yeah, the rank structure is essential. Tip number four. Get used to moving quickly. Move with a sense of urgency. Pick up the pace, get used to moving quickly because the army likes to do things fast and efficiently. So you aren't going to be walking slow anywhere. You are going to do everything fast, so get used to that. Tip number five, never fall asleep in a lesson. You are going to have a little lesson on Kabuka. You will learn about army history and all these different stuff. Don't fall asleep. It will be hard because you are being taught from doing so much, but do not fall asleep. Tip number six, help your mates. You are going to be working with a lot of people. You all got to work together as a team. So help your mates. If your team needs help, do it. Don't try to beat other people in your section. Just try and get the job done and help them get the job done. A team is only strong if everyone works towards it. So hop in there and help your mates here. Another thing is people may cry the first night or first few nights. They are probably missing their friends and family. So make sure you support these people. Remember that these people crying is not a show of weakness. It's a culture shock. It's normal to be able to cry the first few nights. So if you see someone struggling the first few days, give them a hand because mates come first. Mates always come first. It does not matter whether male or female. They are always recruits trying to be soldiers and you should support them. And most importantly, don't snitch on anyone. They wouldn't want someone who would snitch on other people. So yeah, don't snitch and help your mates to get through it together. Tip number seven, suit yourself for the weather. Kabuka rains quite a bit. Even in winter, it rains a fair bit. There is always wind in Kabuka. Kabuka actually means the place of wind. The tips for the weather is, if you are going in winter, prepare for it to be extremely cold. And if you are going in summer, prepare for it to be really hot. Tip number eight, ironing. You are not taught to learn ironing but they will give you a demonstration of how they want the uniform on. Pay attention to how your uniform looks around the collar. A tip for that would be to use starch on your polys, but if you can't, just starch the collar. Attention to the details. All uniforms in the army love details. Tip number nine, put your ego aside. A lot of people take it personally. Remember, you are going to be yelled at. You are going to be told what to do. You are going to be verbally harassed. You are going to be insulted. People are going to be calling you swear names. And if you don't like swear words, you are just going to have to get over that. When it comes to this, you need to remember that that is the part of training. It isn't personal. People usually take that to heart. You shouldn't take it personally. It's just their job. It's not intentional. All you need to remember is that those instructors have been given a very tough task of turning a civilian into a soldier in 35 or 81 days. 
It's not an easy task. They are doing that to retain you or to let you know that you have made a mistake and need to be better. So yeah, you put your ego aside and don't take it to heart because it's not personal. It might feel like it is, but it is not. The more you can suppress that ego, the better it is for you. Don't let it affect you. Keep moving forward. Keep doing what you need to do to get out there and pass. Tip number 10. Check your weapons. You don't want anyone to get hurt. Even if it is unloaded, always check the safety button. You don't want that sort of trouble. Always check your stuff. You don't want to lose anything, especially your weapon. It's going to be bad, bad news. Do double checks. Check that you have got your equipment with you. It's not only going to end badly for you, it's going to end badly for the entire team. Lock your lockup security for everything. Lock your stuff up. So check your equipment. Make sure you know where it is and know that it's safe. Tip number 11. Self-discipline. Discipline is pretty essential, but self-discipline is an absolute core aspect of the discipline. And how the discipline that the people around you instill, and then the most crucial part, is disciplining yourself. People can tell you what to do, but if you don't have the motivation to do it, you have no self-discipline. The discipline isn't going to work on you. So if you are joining the army, you need to remember that you should have self-discipline. Tip number 12. Schedule. You get around 10 to 30 minutes for each mealtime. 30 minutes is the absolute maximum time allotted. But keep in mind that the timings are subjected to change. Sometimes it can be early, sometimes it can be late. Just bear in mind that the things are subject to change and not everything is going to be concrete. Keep in mind that you have got to be flexible with the training. The timings are not concrete, but if you want to prepare for that, the best thing you can do is to try and get settled into that schedule a few weeks before training. So that's not such a culture shock when you arrive at Kabuka. You will eventually settle into the schedule. When some people first get there, many are always tired, always hungry, but ultimately towards the end of it, the schedule is just another part of their daily life. You settle into it fine. Have fun, Kabuka is going to be tough and challenging at times. Just remember to keep pushing through. The army is going to be very rewarding for you. When things get bad, you want to quit. Give it a couple of days. Keep pushing through. Remember why you are there. You can do it. And it is going to be one of the most rewarding things you have ever done in your life. You are going to be proud of yourself. Stay strong and enjoy it. And so with that, we've come to the end. We hope you found this video helpful. Do let us know your views and experiences in the comment section below. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Until next time.